In 1878, Russian chemist Konstantin Falberg was working at Johns Hopkins University, experimenting with coal tar derivatives. Yes, actual coal tar. It wasn't as strange back then as it sounds now. Coal tar was a common base for chemical research at the time, and Falberg was studying its potential compounds for industrial uses. After a long day in the lab, Falberg went home for dinner without washing his hands. As he ate, he noticed something weird. His bread tasted sweet. Odd. Then he touched his fingers and realized they tasted sweet too. That's when it hit him. It wasn't the food. It was something he had brought home from the lab. Falberg rushed back to the lab the next morning and began testing every compound he had worked on that day. Eventually, he isolated the culprit, benzoic sulfonide, a substance with a shockingly sweet taste, several hundred times sweeter than regular sugar but with no calories. Just like that, he had stumbled upon saccharin, the world's first artificial sweetener. At the time, sugar was a luxury for many, and saccharin's potential as a cheaper alternative was immediately clear. Falberg wasted no time. He patented the compound and began producing it commercially, drawing both interest and controversy. Sugar manufacturers were not pleased. They launched public campaigns questioning the safety of saccharin and fought hard against its adoption. But the market spoke louder. Saccharin found its place not just as a sugar substitute, but as a breakthrough product, especially during war times and sugar shortages. Over the years, it appeared in everything from diet sodas and toothpaste to medications and chewing gum.